Hello everyone, I'm the Dino Deep and welcome back to another car crash video. This is part 2 in our series. How many cinder block walls does it take to stop a dump truck? So we'll watch the car crash from a few different angles and I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any ideas you want to see, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try my very best to do them. So first up will be the car crash from the external view in slow motion. So just before I impact, I will pause and will switch to 16 times slower than regular speed. This is the first cinder block wall. Drop top speed to 195. Then the second. Push drop top speed to around 130. Absolutely destroys the front of the truck. We're now basically dragging on the floor. Okay, let's well, speed up a bit. That's the bonnet of the truck just rolling along like a hay bale. The brakes are glitching out, but again, just the game. Can't do seemingly these hundreds of bricks around. Finally hit the retaining wall and that's this angle of the car crash. For our second view, we'll look at the car crash from the driver's perspective in slow motion. First impact, second impact. And around here is where the bank leaves our truck. Everything is totally destroyed and putting the engine. So let's speed up time a bit more. Now let's watch what would have happened from the top view. That's the first impact. It was actually the bricks that broke the second brick wall, so it wasn't a full brick wall impact. And of course, a lot of lag from the bricks. And here's our final impact into the retaining wall. And this is our final view of the day. A very cinematic view. In slow motion of course. First view, second impact, and we're on our way. Mm -hmm. 
so that's it for today's video if you enjoyed it please consider leaving a like subscribing and until next time i'll see you later so enjoy this final view of the crash in real time before you go With of course, a lot of lag. So thank you for watching and bye for now.